other day there was a fishing vessel with a crew of 35 sailors from Yemen out on the Gulf of Aden. They began drudging the bottom of the gulf and hooked a whale carcass. As the crew was dragging the dead flesh to shore, they began to get excited. The reason for their delight, and I quote, because of the strong smell of marine fecal odor. They were overjoyed because the dead whale stank. When they got to shore, they began to cut the whale corpse open, and there it was, to the joy of all the sailors, 280 pounds of whale vomit. Yes, you heard me right. 280 pounds of pure puke. The substance is often called the treasure of the sea or floating gold because of how rare it is. This particular vomit is valuable for its use in making perfume scents last longer and high-end perfumes by makers such as Chanel and Givenchy. Yes, that's right. If you wear expensive perfume, one of the reasons it's expensive is because it contains whale puke. So you may say, well, how valuable is this stuff? To own your very own 280 pound chunk of the sweet, strong smelling scent of marine fecal odor, you'll only have to pay a cool 1.5 million. That's right, $1.5 million for whale puke. It is amazing what we give value to in this life. Now, I have no problem declaring that I have never made whale vomit something that's valuable to me, but I have made other things my treasure. I've allowed competition, success, resources, entertainment, and on and on the list goes a source of treasure. But I'm in good company here. Solomon declared in Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verses 8 through 10, I gathered me also silver and gold and the peculiar treasure of kings and of the provinces, and I got me men singers and women singers, and the delights of the sons of men as musical instruments, and that of all sorts. So I was great and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. All my wisdom remained with me, and whatsoever mine eyes desired, I kept not from them. I withheld not my heart from any joy, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor. And this was my portion of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought and on the labor that I had labored to do, and behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no profit under the sun. In recent years, two of the richest men in the world have seen their marriages fall apart. Why? because we treasure the wrong things. Today, make sure that you treat what is really valuable in your life like it is really valuable. I'm Larry Wright, and this has been a message in a minute.